hello viewers welcome you all to today's video uh, in today's video we are going to learn how to uh, find the values that are selected in slicer so uh, here we are going to use few formulas but for the people who are not uh, aware what a slicer is a yes, slicer is nothing but the graphical representation of a filter you can find the slicers under uh, this insert tab <coughs> and here you can find the slicer under the filters pane uh, right and so here I have a table uh, this contains the uh, software development uh, information for a company for an entire year and I have a filter that is slicer applied for the month and see how it actually works so when I choose Feb so I got only the details of February alone display and when I choose May I got the values of May alone display so alright so uh, and slicers are, are also capable of doing multiple selections you need to select this uh, checkbox and then you can start selecting multiple multiple months so let me choose okay it's single selection still to April May June okay so here my problem is uh, whenever I apply slicer actually uh, when I try to extract the values that are selected in slicer we do them for some of the dashboard uh, calculations uh, I have a problem where I, I will not be able to find the values that are selected in slicer so in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to pick the values that are selected in slicer both for single value and for multiple value so let's go ahead with the tip okay now let's look into the tip now our objective is to find the values that are inserted in slicer so, so let's go ahead and insert the slicer okay let me just click on this and okay let me select month this is my normal slicer for this particular table now I'm going to insert a pivot table with uh, my month details alone in the row information let me go ahead insert insert pivot table let me use the existing worksheet equal to uh, okay yes so I am inserting my pivot table as well here and I have kept all my rows into the pivot table right so this is actually enough for this uh, particular example now let's go ahead and add a now click on the pivot table and let's go ahead and add the slicer for pivot as well one strange thing is actually it shows you all the uh, uh, all the columns uh, even though we have not chosen them into this pivot uh, field but still it uh, it shows all the entire data because actually pivot is built on top of the entire table so again I'm, let me choose only the month now in order to avoid the confusion let me uh, recolor the items let me give um, red color to pivot information and pivot tables meanwhile let me give blue so let the blue color be there for the normal table and normal slicer now we are going to use this um, tables and we are just going to understand the difference in their behavior using which we will find out the slicer value okay now let me quickly explain you the difference between these two uh, so difference is actually evident so i'll show you how it works so when i have chosen the month january in the um, main uh, slicer you must be able to see uh, the January is displayed in the column 2 and then when I chose May it is actually displaying only the uh, row 6 sorry it's row 6 uh, and same as the case for August when I chose August it, it has displayed the row 9 what it what happens actually is it is hiding other rows and it's showing only the uh, row with uh, selected row alone but this is not the case with power uh, power table slices let me choose august august is actually moved to the second row in there's no concept of hiding 
uh, in this case instead a new table structure is actually created only with the August same as the case with May as well see actually this is one of the reason power tables are uh, performing well and performing faster than the other other uh, normal tables but and we are going to make going to make use of this particular trick to find the values that are used in slicer let's go ahead with that but now here when i choose a value so it's uh, straight away it's giving me the value selected month let me go ahead and add this in the name manager okay i have uh, cancelled that previous operation let me add this right away into the name manager selected month my selected month is going to be this h2 which is my pure tables first cell all right so this is this is a uh, global value and wherever i refer th refer this for example selected month i get the value as january and when it make any changes further changes it gets modified to the respective value now so this is this trick is actually straightforward uh, now i am i'm going to uh, form a mini table so let me copy these values alone and let me write my formula here x lookup which value that needs to be uh, looked up i need this value comma from this array comma mm, return array is going to be from this to this comma uh, if not found no data comma match mode exact match and search from first to last so here i got the value as august now same way we can when i choose june i get the june value and same as the case with december uh, i hope that sounds really cool because uh, actually this trick will come handy when you build bigger dashboards when you build bigger dashboards you may need to show multiple reports and multiple charts with one uh, slicer value so that this comes uh, very much handy right it's time to uh, look into the multiple selection so now we have uh, learnt how to pick the value for a single selection it's through a pivot table and pick the first record from the pivot table it's straightforward now uh, let's see how to pick the values for the multiple selection uh, it's going to be a little complicated than the previous method so we'll start with that in order to do this we are going to split the logic into two parts one first part is to get the collection of all the selected months so in this case we have january march may and june selected so um, to get that piece alone separately and second part is to merge them into a <coughs> uh, single item single string so uh, let's go through the first part now actually they are uh, available as values in this pivot table now i'll show you how to uh, extract their values separately <coughs> so it starts from h2 h2 to and ideally it should be h5 in this case so when you say h2 to h5 you get four values but this will not be dynamic because if i select the fifth value uh, that won't get uh, reflected automatically here instead so we have to make this five alone to be dynamic so how to do that now i'm going to use this formula indirect h2 
h and then uh, okay sorry uh, and then let's append let's use match function match lookup value so I'm going to use this lookup values grand total <coughs> come on mm, lookup array lookup array should be uh, <coughs> take this entire column come on zero exact match now uh, actually we should be looking for the range uh, cell before grand total so it's not actually the match of grand total so once we get this value let's do a minus from this I think that should be fine let's see how it works right so here I got the value I'm looking for uh, so even if I uh, unselect the July so it, it is actually reflecting automatically here now let us apply the mm, formula to join all these values into a single value actually so this formula contains uh, the dynamic uh, months let me just copy this formula and then let, let me um, use here you can use uh, two formulas one is uh, it can be text join text join and then uh, pass the delimiter uh, I'm going to use comma delimiter uh, ignore empty cells okay yes true comma then uh, you pass the remaining uh, array values okay so here we get everything in a single cell January March May June and <coughs> you can see the values getting added in dynamic way you can either use this formula otherwise just copy this bit I will also show you another formula but um, I doubt if that formula will be available in everyone's machine mm, it's array to text just pass the array comma uh, format go for <coughs> concise format don't go for the strict format that again returns another array so yes you get the same result with comma de delimiter so by using uh, either of this formula you get all these values <coughs> easily so where this will be <coughs> useful you can actually mm, use wildcard uh, you can use wildcard delimiters to compare your uh, month data against these selected months and you can form uh, your own tables based on the selected months so that's the use case for uh, this type of multi-select values so that's it for today's video I hope uh, you might have found this uh, useful so uh, I'm just highlighting the results cells alone uh, so let me quickly summarize in the first part we had just one slicer value and we went straight away for mm, so when we had just one slicer value we went straight away for uh, this directly we have taken this particular row as the output value when we have multiple slicer values we use this formula to find the start to end point and then we have actually um, text joint or we have converted that array into a text using our formula so these are the uh, two cool tricks behind this i hope you would have enjoyed this please stay connected with us and please subscribe to our channel thank you meet you all in the next video with something new see you